Hello everyone, my name is Avkash and today we are going to solve a most common problem related with the Google JAX library for the Python and its support with CUDA GPU. JAX is a very important library for anyone who is using Python for their deep learning projects because the JAX library from Google, it, it takes the NumPy functions and using XLA to compile and made the compiled code available on CUDA GPUs. It means if you are using JAX for transformer, for binding or for any other deep learning framework, you must have your JAX working with CUDA and that is the problem because you will see that supporting JAX with various versions of CUDA and the CUDA NN or CUD NN library is really very hard because for every CUDA version and for every CUDA neural network version there is a JAX library for that. It means you must install the correct CUDA and the CUDNN library to make sure it matches with your CUDA and the, and the CUDNN version which is installed on your machine. As you could see that we are looking into the JAX CUDA release list and for every available CUDA version and the CUDNN there is a JAX wheel package for it. I met with same problem and it took some time for me to solve. So in this video I decided to help anyone and everyone who is going to have problem with JAX and CUDA support or the JAX with CUDA GPU support they can take advantage of this video and make sure that the JAX is working with CUDA along with the TensorFlow and the PyTorch as well. Left you could see that I do have the NVIDIA and NVCC version 11.7 in my machine and right you can see that with the torch the GPU is available but with JAX there is no GPU and looking into the JAX libraries I do have JAX 3.14 but the JAX lib is 3.10 which is older version and at the JAX website I could see that version 0.3.14 is the latest one looking at the left you could see that TensorFlow and Torch both can find the GPU. However, the JAX could not find the GPU with the latest version 3.14, right? I am using my Conda base Python 3.9 environment and installing the JAX based on most common way to support JAX with CUDA and by passing the JAX release HTML. After the installation is done, I will retest everything with the Python environment. First deactivating and then the reactivating the Conda Python 3.9 environment. Checking again and JAX this time is giving a different error related with pocket FFT. Now I am looking at the JAX CUDA release. Make sure it is very important to understand that this is the JAX CUDA release and based on CUDA version and the CUDA NN or CUD NN libraries I am installing. However, proper CUDA version I have to find based on my CUDA as well as the CUD NN libraries. The best way to find the correct JAX lib we need to make sure that we do have correct CUDA version and the CUD NN version. So for the latest JAX 0.3.14, the CUDA 11 is good, but let's make sure that we have the latest CUD NN and that's we can check based on the header files available in my local machine. Opening the CUDA version dot header file, as you could see that I do have the CUDA version CUDA Neural Network version 8.4 which is almost between 8.2 and 8.5. It means that based on my CUDA 
11.7 and the CUDNN 8.4, I can select the JAXLIB version 0.3.14 CUDA 11 and then the CUDNN 8.05. And this should install and then make sure that I am passing the JAX CUDA release.html, not the JAX release HTML. After the installation is done, as you could see, it is successfully installed. Now we can recheck again with our Conda environment, Python 3.9 to see if the problem is fixed. The problem is still same. At this point, I have already removed both JAX and JAXLib. So my environment does not have anything related with JAX and JAXLib. That's what you could see that there are no package found. Next, I'm activating my Conda 3.9 environment. And as you could see that there is no JAX and JAXLib. It is important for you to make sure you do not have JAX and JAXLib available anywhere in your environment. Then you need to make sure that JAX and JAXLib is totally is not available in even in your Python. And at that time, you need to reinstall the package exact same way we have installed earlier. Here, as you could see that we are using JAX 0.3.14 with the JAXLib 0.3.14. CUDA 11 and the CUDA neural network CUDNN 805 and by passing the JAX CUDA release HTML. And after passing the correct command, the installation is done. Now we can access our environment Python 3.9, importing JAX and importing JAXlib both. And we can see that we have both version 0.3.14 with both. And here we could see the GPU is available for us. TensorFlow can see the GPU and Torch can also see the GPU. At the right side, I'm just showing you that even after using the Jupyter Lab environment, and we could validate that the JAX, Torch, and the TensorFlow, they all have access to GPU just to validate that our installation is all correct so that's all i had for you in this tutorial i hope you have enjoyed the content in my video if you have liked it please do share it please subscribe my channel and also comment your feedback or any suggestions you have i do appreciate your time and i'm looking forward to see you in my next video until then please be good and do good thank you